So not every subject or every area that I look into for the people buried here is going to make it into the final cut for the show. So one of those stories that I wanted you to still hear about is about what happened with the cannibals in Jamestown. Jamestown was the original colony site for the British, for the English rather, um, in the early 1500s. And the first few winters there were absolutely brutal. And as most people know, they barely survived it. Most of them died. Um, it was not a good thing, and of course we've glamorized it now with the story of the Native Americans coming to, you know, help us get through things, but there's a much darker story behind that, and it was revealed in the bones of a 14-year-old girl on a modern dig in the Jamestown site in an abandoned cemetery that a lot of people had no idea was even there. And her skull showed knife wounds, or like butcher's knife wounds, and some of the injuries to her other bones showed that her and the dogs and likely other people were cannibalized after they had died. So what I find especially ironic is not just that the English's first winter here and their first settlement resulted in cannibalism, but that the English then spent the next, you know, two centuries trying to convince people in the British Isles that America must be conquered because the natives here were savages who were cannibalizing um, each other and the Americans, uh, the would-be Americans. And uh, it just kind of goes to show that some of these people have been telling on themselves for a very long time. And America's British origins, at least, are as dark and as twisted as can be imagined.